Hey, what's up? Christian here. Wanted to give you another update on the PFSense WireGuard package. I know that I had a video yesterday, um, update number three, where I introduced a new UI and a, and a lot of changes. Um, but I would like to make another video quickly today because um, there have been some pretty significant um, uh, bug squashes over the last 24 hours. Um, so one of the things that uh, was brought to my attention by a viewer on YouTube um, was that there was a bug in the peer allowed IPs entry that was preventing um, um, allowing all IPv4 or IPv6 addresses. So let's look at the changes here. So we still have this repeatable um, box that you can, you can add an arbitrary number of subnets um, or host routes um, that are reachable via this peer. Um, but you will see that there's now two checkboxes at the top, one for allowing all IPv4 and one for allowing all IPv6. Um, the only way that we could, that I could figure out how to do this while keeping this uh, repeatable allowed IP entry, which I really like, was to use these checkboxes. Um, there is, you know, although these, these uh, allow, these IP and subnet um, uh, UI elements are repeatable, meaning that I can, you know, add an arbitrary number of them um, at will. Unfortunately, it looks like there is a limitation with uh, PFSense core, um, so the JavaScript that handles all of this, that is outside of the scope of the package itself, um, that when you define the range of subnets, which you can define it as being, you know, 128 all the way um, down to a zero, uh, a slash zero, which would cover everything. Um, unfortunately, that does not, uh, does not translate over to additional entries. So although the first, the first entry would allow you to choose a 128 all the way down to a slash zero, um, each additional line would not allow you to do that. So that was preventing um, users from entering, from allowing all IPv4 or all IPv6 addresses. So what I've decided to do uh, to work around that limitation is to uh, cap the allowed IP subnet dropdown to a slash one, which means um, you can't, again, you can't scope the entire IPv4 or IPv6 address space in one of these rows. So instead, um, we just have these checkboxes at the top for the special case of allowing all IPv4 and allowing all IPv6. Um, now to show you how that works, if you were to go come in here and let's say that I was to type in a IPv4 subnet, so this is 192.168.10.0 slash 24, and I were to also check this allow all IPv4, obviously this um, allow all route uh, or subnet is actually trumping the 10.0 slash 24. So if I save this, let me give this enough data to actually save. We'll call this demo and we'll keep it unassigned. When I click save and go back into it, you'll see that that 10.0 network has disappeared because that has been superseded by the allow all IPv4 addresses. Um, now, if I come back out of here, and let me just do another demo, let me allow all IPv6 addresses, and then let me type in that same uh, subnet, the 192.168.10.0 slash 24 network. If I uh, click save, and then come back in, you'll see that we are still allowing all IPv6 addresses as well as this IPv4 subnet. Um, and what that translates to in terms of the config is that it's seamless on the back end. So let me just assign this to my, my test remote access tunnel and we'll save and we'll come back to status. And you can see uh, right here, um, that's the peer that we just created. And um, you can see that it's, we are allowing the 192.168.10.0 slash 24 network and then also the entire IPv6 address space. So that was a pretty significant um, that was a pretty significant bug um, that we I squashed this morning, and um, so that should be working. Um, so yeah, that is that's what I wanted to draw your attention to. Um, so if you were doing a site-to-site -site VPN and you wanted to route, you know, you wanted to allow everything uh, through the tunnel, um, you would just uh, um, just allow all, 
And in this case, I'm allowing all IPv4 and all IPv6. And we can just hit save. And if we go back to status here, you can see that we're allowing, allowing everything. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.